Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a further look at our Wally's WB48 and Falcon SRX2 boards. Now in our previous video we demonstrated uh, what the SRX series are all about and we got them hooked up and running in FPP. Today we're going to take that one step further and we're going to do the configuration in x lights and then we're going to push that to FPP and demonstrate it working. So you can then see the whole thing all the way from start to finish. So I've got the Wally's controller set up here. The WB48 is a differential only controller. So we have 12 differential outputs, each running four strings of pixels. So port number one here, or the first port, runs ports one through four. And then we have five to eight, nine to 12, and so on. This one is connected, uh, so ports one to four are connected via this short ethernet cable to the SRX2 here. Uh, you can plug into either of the sockets, doesn't matter. So I've plugged in, and we then have four outputs here on bank A, or the first bank, and four outputs here on the second bank. So our pixel ports one through four are going to be divided uh, in half, with half going to bank A and half going to bank B. Now the rotary dial here is set to A for automatic. So the SRX will auto detect the protocol uh, being sent by the Wally board, and then we should be good to go. So let's get on and get it set up and running. Now the WB48 is powered up, uh, it's on my network, uh, and so is the laptop that I'm recording this on. So I'm going to hit discover uh, in Xlights, and there we go, it's had a quick look at the network, and it's found our Wally board. So if I select it, we can see that the, the vendor has set up correctly as Wally's lights, and that the model has set itself to WB48. Now previously I've seen FPP detect and not correctly identify the vendor and model. So you just want to check those before you go any further. And if they're not correct, then update them uh, by doing the drop down and selecting the correct details. Now I have a feeling that this is part of an update in the very latest release of FPP which is 6.3.7, um, because I didn't see it working a couple of days ago when I tried. There we go, so our board is in. Uh, we're all ready to go there, so that's good. What we need to do now is to set up the layout um, so that we can get our two strings of pixels uh, set up in x lights. So I'm gonna go for layout, and I'm just going to drag in a couple of strings of pixels. So there we go, string one. And the second string is string two, there we go. Now both of these strings uh, I have on here are 10 pixels. So I need to change the number of pixels to 10 on both strings. There we go. So that's our two strings of pixels into the visualizer. Now we need to tell it how we're connecting them to the board. So I'm going to go back to controllers and I'm going to go to the visualizer. So now I'm going to drag my two strings of pixels onto pixel port number one. There we go, one and two. And then we need to tell it that it's connected via smart remotes. So they're not on a standard pixel port, uh, they're on smart remotes. So if I highlight the first one, so I've highlighted the first one, and that, you can see that's outlined, and I'm gonna to go to smart remote type two. 
And then I'm going to do the same on the second one. Smart remote type 2. That's done. And then I can go to smart remote A on the first one. And smart remote B on the second one. Now it's something's not quite right here. Something's not lined up. So let's just double check. Smart remote type is 2. And we're on A. And then on the second one, smart remote is on B. And type is on 2. There we go. It's happy now. The error message has disappeared from down the bottom. So we're configured with our smart remote A and B on x -Lights. So I can come out of there and I can save the controllers tab. And there we are. So that's the outputs configured nice and straightforward in x -Lights. All we need to do now is to push them to FPP. Now to do that, I'm just going to go to Upload Output down here. And it tells us very quickly down the bottom here, Wally's Lights Output Upload Complete. So if I now open this controller through, there we go, and I go to Input Output Setup and Channel Outputs, we can see that it's configured at the first outputs to Smart Version 2 with two Smart Receivers. So Single Line 2 and Single Line have both been configured. And are they the right way around? Let's hang on a second. Does it got it? Ah, look, see, I've messed up here. I've got Single Line 2 coming out first and then Single Line. And FPP has, uh, sorry, x -Lights has correctly mapped that across to FPP. So single line two is coming out first, and single line is coming out second. So it's done the configuration in FPP for us. Nice and straightforward. And if I go to test pattern, there we go, it's immediately woken up, and we can see that the very first pixel is white. So that shows us that it's connected to port number one. So there we go, that's all configured. What I need to do now is to create a little sequence and to push that out. So let's go back to the Layout tab and I'm just going to create a, uh, a short sequence. So let's go for Sequencer, File, New Sequence, Animation, 20 frames per second, lovely. And we've got our two strings of pixels here. So I'm going to drag a bars effect onto this one. And I'm going to drag, let's have a look. Let's, let's bring some fire onto this lot. There we are. That looks good, that looks good. So those are there, let's just have a quick render. And then we can test directly from X lights. If I output to lights, and then I highlight, there we go. This bars test is uh, not doing a lot. Oh, this direction is up, let's move direction left to right. And we should see uh, a little bit more activity there. Oh, we want one loads of cycles. There we go. There we are. We can see that uh, this lot are busy doing their bars test now. And these are busy doing their fire pixels test. So we've got a very basic little sequence. All I need to do now is to stop that, turn off output to lights. I can then do a file, save sequence as, I'm just going to call it demo. There we go. And I can push that now to FPP via tools and FPP connect. Okay. 
There we go. It had a little think about life there, but it, it got there eventually. So we've got our upload we want to do. Now we could copy our models across. Uh, our UDP out. Now, because this is going to be the only controller in my show, I'm not pushing out to any other controllers. I can leave UDP out off. And then I've got my demo.fseq ready to go, so I can upload. And there we go, that's pushed that now from Xlights over to FPP. So if I now go back to controllers and just hit open, we can see that Xlights now have a demo.fseq file queued up, ready to go. And if I hit play, there we go, we've got a little fire thing going on over here and a color wash going on over here. So there we go, a quite a short one this week, but it's demonstrated how you set up a smart receiver onto an FPP-based controller in Xlights. We put the controller in, we set up the outputs uh, in the layout, mapped them to the controller. We then created a short sequence, tested it, pushed it out, and job done. So I hope you have found that useful. As always, take care, have fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.